Can you tell me the distinction in Christianity or in the Maronite part of Christianity between religion and politics? Yes, there is a difference, certainly. But uh, as the Maronites here, and uh, also the patriarchs, the bishops, and the other priests can from time to time uh, make their opinion about the policy. And uh, it is asked by the people also. But we cannot say that we are politicians. But we have the right to pronounce ourselves about the situation. And this was made by us and by the other religious leaders, Muslims and the others. Do you think that Israel's response to the Hezbollah raids across the border were, were disproportionate and indiscriminate and too fierce given the problem of Hezbollah? Hezbollah is a military formation since a long time. And uh, he is uh, very uh, approach of uh, Syria and uh, Iran. And uh, it is receiving also arms and money from Iran. And he is opposite to Israel. And the war since a long time between Lebanon and Israel. But there were a cause for which the war was proclaimed between Israel and Hezbollah. Certainly, uh, Israel was not successful in this war. But uh, he has caused many losses to Lebanon many destructions, many people who were in South Lebanon came here in this region as they were uh, well accepted because we are all Lebanese here and we are living together since a long time, since years and years. But actually, certainly the politics is divided the Lebanese. Some are with Hezbollah, Syria, and Iran, and some others are with the United States and Europe. And the Christians are divided between uh, these two currents. And this <clears throat> in making a situation is very, very unsatisfying in Lebanon. Not Can total dangerous. It is dangerous from time to time. Just go back to the Israeli response, though. Do you think it was excessive? Do you think it was disproportionate to the raids across the border? Amnesty International, for instance, no, ha has said no, there were war crimes. No, it is not proportionate because Israel has attacked Lebanon very dangerously and he has uh, destroyed many houses, many bridges, many roads, and all this is a great loss to Lebanon. And until now, we are uh, making the necessary effort to uh, restore all this Losses. Why, why was Israel bombing areas which yeah. were a long way from where Hezbollah was a problem? Yes, because Hezbollah is uh, opposed to Israel, but uh, Israel has not uh, attacks only Hezbollah. It attacks all the Lebanon, all Lebanon, everywhere, and the roads were destroyed everywhere in, the Lebanon, in Lebanon. But why did it do that? Why? Because, in my opinion, Israel cannot uh, accept 
that uh, near uh, Israel there is a democratic country where all the people, Muslim and Christians, can live together peacefully. And this against the ideology of Israel. Can I ask you about politics in Lebanon? And I don't mean the day-to-day, week-by-week politics, but in general, it seems over time to be the case that it's very difficult to get coalitions together and make them stick. Is, is that because of something inherent in Lebanese politics or is it because of the confessional nature of Lebanese politics or is it because some people are poor and some people are rich? But why is that? Before we were living together, there are some difficulties. But actually, our neighbours are not very satisfied of the situation of Lebanon. And as you know, Syria was here for about 30 years. And actually, Syria withdrew, but against herself, so to say, and is trying to go back to Lebanon. And Syria has their own his own adepts here in Lebanon. And so there are some interventions from uh, our neighbors in our own efforts. And this is making that the Lebanese are not compact with, between themselves, but are divided. Do you think there's a possibility of a civil war? No, I, because uh, we have made the experience of the civil war before. I think, I hope that uh, this uh, temptation cannot uh, have the uh, uh, opportunity to, to, to go in this way. Do you think it's advisable for uh, Mr. Jaja to be speaking the way he does and Mr. Jumblat to be calling a foreign leader a, a monkey? Yes, they are pronouncing some uh, phrases, some words, which is not, uh, which not uh, um, saying that, that uh, they are very uh, satisfied and uh, that the war will be tomorrow. But I, I, I don't uh, think so, because the war is very costing for Lebanon. It's a great cost for Lebanon. And we have uh, experimented this. So you're quite hopeful about the ability of Lebanon to, to stick together and to be unified as a country? I think but uh, it is our responsibility, first of all, but also our neighbours and all those who intervene in the Lebanon's affairs must be quiet, not intervene in our affairs, but it is not the situation, unfortunately. Who are you referring to when you say that? What? Who do you mean when you say our neighbours? <laughs> are well known, are well known in Syria. Syria is here, and uh, in other parts, uh, Iran also, and from the other country, uh, United States has uh, a word to say in the uh, Lebanon's affairs and Europe, and all this, we are responsible. The prime, prime responsible here, but we know we cannot oppose all this intervention from all these people. Is this my opinion? Christians in politics at the moment, there seems to be many Christians on the Hezbollah side and many Christians on the government side. Yes. Does that cause you pain? Yes, exactly, because before 
is what not so. Since about uh, 50 years, there were two blocks, national blocks and constitutional blocks, and uh, they were headed by uh, two Christians. And all the other communities were uh, uh, gathered uh, with uh, these two blocks. But actually, as a Christian, we're divided, but in another sense, in other, uh, but actually it is not so, because uh, they are followers more than <laughs> being leaders. If, if you look at the TAFE Accord, yeah, and, TAFE Accord and, yes, and the constitutional yes, yes, yes. arrangements yes. within the Lebanese power system, it seems to me that the growing population of Shia Muslims are the people who are least represented properly in the parliament. Do you agree with that? Taif has not been applied as uh, uh, it was uh, not applied totally. But some of uh, this accord has been applied and the others was uh, put uh, aside. And this is a difficulty, actually. Uh, certainly, between the Christians, many are going abroad. But for the Shiite, the family is more numerous than the Christian family. And so they are growing, naturally. But uh, there are all Lebanese, and we have to live together. And uh, every community has the right to be uh, presented in the government. But it is not so. But I hope that uh, the situation will improve and all th there will be a kind of equilibrium between all this community. Does your heart go out to them down in the south because of you know the cluster bomb, bomb problem and the collapse of many of their crops and uh, you know the uh, deaths that happen daily from cluster bombs and so on uh, do you do you see that as um, a problem for Lebanon as much as for the South Lebanon? Yes, it is a problem for all the Lebanese for all Lebanon because they are Lebanese and their houses are Lebanese, and uh, Lebanon be in south or be in the east at the other regions, there are uh, Lebanese regions. But thank you for doing it, and, and at such no, short notice. Welcome. Welcome. <laughs>